In this one life you have, prioritize pursuing what ignites your passion. Embrace the risks and lessons that come with failure, recalling the challenge of the 9-dot IQ test. To draw five lines without lifting the pencil, you had to think creatively beyond the boundaries. Apply this mindset to life, step outside the box, fearlessly exploring new ideas and paths. Dream big, but ensure your dreams are anchored by clear goals. Establish both overarching life objectives and smaller achievable yearly goals. Understand that achieving these goals requires unwavering discipline and consistency. Commit to these principles, as they are the foundation for transforming your aspirations into tangible achievements. Achieving success requires daily dedication, not sporadic efforts. You must commit yourself every day and meticulously plan your actions. Remember, fail to plan, plan to fail. Consistent effort and strategic thinking are essential. Successful individuals exemplify this through their relentless hard work. I've come to understand that taking risks is integral to finding true passion. Settling for less than your potential is a disservice to yourself. While some suggest having a fallback plan, I believe in falling forward with faith as my guide. This way, even if I stumble, I face forward and gain clarity on my path. Each setback is a valuable lesson that propels me closer to achieving my goals. Taking risks is not just a cliché. It's a fundamental aspect of success. Failure is inevitable in life. You will experience setbacks, embarrassments, and moments of incompetence. However, each failure is a stepping stone to growth and achievement. Today, every graduate here possesses the skills and knowledge to succeed. But the real question is, do you have the courage to embrace failure? If you never fail, you're not pushing yourself to reach new heights. To attain what you've never had, you must be willing to do what you've never done. As motivational speaker Les Brown illustrates, imagine yourself on your deathbed surrounded by the ghosts of your unfulfilled potential, ideas you never acted upon, talents you never utilized. They stand around you, filled with regret and disappointment. Therefore, embrace risks, face failure head on, and use these experiences to propel yourself toward a life without regret. Each failure is a lesson learned and a necessary step on the journey to realizing your full potential. They came to me, believing I held the power to bring them to life. Now, together, we face the inevitability of the grave. I ask you today, how many ghosts will surround your bed? Put God first in all that you do, for everything you see in me, everything I've achieved, every possession I hold is by the grace of God. A gift. Reflecting back 40 years ago to March 27, 1975, I was on the verge of flunking out of college with a dismal 1.7 GPA. Sitting in my mother's beauty shop, I noticed a woman behind me under the dryer who continuously met my gaze in the mirror. Unfamiliar with her, I asked what she wanted. She requested a pen or pencil, stating she had a prophecy. Boy, you will travel the world and speak to millions of people. Despite flunking out of college and considering joining the army without a clear direction, the prophecy given to me, that I would travel the world and speak to millions, has become a reality. However, the true essence of my success lies not in these achievements, but in the enduring lesson I learned that day. What she imparted has remained with me throughout my journey. I've been guided, corrected, and protected by keeping God in my life. Though I haven't always remained steadfast, God has never forsaken me. If you aspire to achieve what I have, prioritize keeping faith in God in everything you do. Remember, doing more doesn't always equate to accomplishing more. Remember, productivity isn't measured by how busy you are, but by how much progress you make. 
My mother once wisely told me that running in place constantly leads nowhere. Keep striving, setting goals, and moving forward. Regardless of wealth, remember the Egyptians who tried to take it all with them and ended up robbed. They couldn't take it with them. What matters most isn't how much you have, but what you do with it. Each of us possesses unique talents. Some will become doctors, lawyers, scientists, educators, or nurses. The most fulfilling act in life is selflessly helping others. It's selfish because the satisfaction and joy derived from aiding others surpass any personal gain. Taking risks isn't just about career advancement, it's also about acknowledging your limitations and remaining open to new people and ideas. This openness is crucial for personal and professional growth. The play begins with the protagonist taking small, hesitant steps and gradually overcoming fears. Eventually, his heart becomes filled with love, an uplifting message as we send you off today. Embrace risks, be open to life, and welcome new perspectives and opinions. The chances you take, the people you meet, the love you experience, and the faith you hold will shape who you become. These examples illustrate that setbacks are stepping stones to success. The true desire in your heart, the itch to help others grow and achieve, is proof that your aspirations are within reach. Aspire not just to make a living, but to make a difference. Never lose heart, give your all, and when you stumble, remember to fall forward continuing to progress despite challenges.